negative, it's a process of negating, yes, rather than a process of adding and accumulating. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the more, I mean, we just have to look, particularly in the world we're in nowadays, I feel so fortunate that I'm old because I, I went through 40 years more without a credit card or a computer or any of that. And life felt oh, so much simpler, you know, but of course, all those things, they're wonderful and they have the benefit we have right now, speaking, you know, in different parts of the world, but how much more complicated life seems to feel. So everywhere we've added something, we have to also um, account for inevitably there's going to be in that accumulation also a complex, a complication. Yes. So whereas the more that we, we step back from life and question all these things that we think we need and must have and, and how things should look. As we take this step back, we're gaining objectivity. How can we have objectivity if we're coming from a place of, first of all, a very faulty conviction about who we are. Yes. So I'm a constantly changing object with good and bad behaviors that definitely need to be controlled. I mean, what a place to come from. It's already just saying that exhausting. Yeah. yeah. So, so to me, the, the, the breakthrough work, uh, it's, it's, it, yeah, it's, a, it's the path of Yana yoga, basically, which is a path of deconstructing, stepping back, stepping back, stepping back. So we get objectivity on the mind. So when you have objectivity on something, then you can deal with it better, yes? So if you're all involved and tied up and confusing yourself for it, how can you address anything clearly? So breakthrough begins right in that place. So is your thinking serving you or is it distressing you? And rather than trying to sit down and meditate to shut the thinking up or all the other things, have a drink, <laughs> get some, whatever else we do to shut the mind up, you know, that's like pushing away a, a, a symptom in the body, isn't it? Just, it's like having yeah. a really powerful alarm system and going, oh, damn thing keeps on waking me up and turning it off and the house is on fire. Yeah. So it's looking at the mind, this thing that we struggle with so much, via which we perceive the world. Everything, yeah. And, and seeing, so what is the dynamics of this mind? What's really happening? Yeah. So you two can speak more as practitioners and teacher of body talk, how that, how that looks in terms of body talk, you know, and overreactions. Oh. Um, I'm not a body talk instructor, but my experience for myself is that um, I learned, I mean, body talk teaches us so much. There's so much in body talk that it's just a wonderful new perspective of how to look at the body mind and how to um, get the communication just so. But my experience of breakthrough has been um Yes, I can do a body talk session that can really bring to conscious awareness some of the deeper things that maybe someone doesn't really know about in themselves. They're not consciously aware, or rather talk about myself. I'm not consciously aware of it, and I've gone for my body talk, and it draws this um, into my awareness. But for me, it's the breakthrough has really anchored it consciously. Like that's been my experience, and then um then instead of just thinking about it or having an awareness of it, I've started living from a different place. And that seems key for me. Yeah. And practicing from a different place. Absolutely. Every time there's a, a shift for me, where I'm coming from, it's like a whole new, like everything's new, the, the each session changes. So then I started to really see that it's like that as a witnessing the session that is taking place for say someone else on the table, um, 
it seems really important that I constantly um, do the work for myself as a practitioner, this self-inquiry, this type of work, um, to clear up again and again and again, um, really ultimately to give, a, a, I don't know if it's a better session for someone, it just something seems to change in the quality of um, the work that you're doing with someone.